Hey guys, how's it going? In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down my own gameplay. It's something that's been requested a lot in my stream, so I figured I'd finally go ahead and do it. I'm really looking forward to kind of making this more of a series and getting better at it. So hopefully you guys enjoy, and let's jump into the video. I picked the Team Slayer because I figured as I'm getting warmed up to this, it'll be a lot easier um, rather than just starting out with a 15 minute long game. Uh, I watched this back already and I have one comment to make before you see it. If you have the time on Zealot TS, always make sure you throw good nades. You'll see me panic right here and I just throw two wasteful nades and basically die because of it. Uh, make sure you throw good nades. Do not do what I do. It's terrible. Yeah. It's terrible. It ends up working out somewhat. I get the kills, whatever. But just be so much better dumb, dumb play by me there to go ahead and look for the snipe when I'm half health you know a pro team's not gonna let you just get the snipe when you're one hit unless the team gets all four dead at the start especially if a slayer uh, you're really just gonna go ahead and see it's just evening out right now everyone's fighting for map control everyone's fighting for essentially the same thing trying to get the sniper trying to get the grenade launcher um, right now we're kind of losing the battle, but we're going to go ahead and pick it up here pretty soon. Brad lifts red, I'm top mid. Looks like we're going to start getting a little bit of control. Um, no, we're actually not. We're actually still fighting pretty hard. These guys are making a, a really good effort of getting top gold control on us. You know, on on Zealot, you want gold control overall. You want gold control. You want top mid. You want to be rotating through uh, the bases. Ideally, you're gonna have a good spawn trap there. Uh, you guys can't hear, but I'm gonna pause it and just highlight that play I made there. Uh, we knew they were gonna spawn red. I sat gold bridge and just baited for Matt, who is sitting front base. World 2 and I have been teaming a really long time. Obviously, we work together really well. The one thing I had to do is actually tell him to get the kill, because a lot of times your teammate will go in for a beatdown thinking they have a kill. Uh, they don't know the damage that you're taking. So definitely make sure you're being vocal. If you're playing a team game, make sure you're being vocal. Uh, I did a good job there. I'll pat myself on the back, but it's not easy to do, because sometimes you just assume that they're going to get the kill that's right in front of them for free. But people will go for beatdown of shooting and you know vice versa so we're gonna we're getting a way better idea you can see with me holding gold here uh, we have a much better idea everyone's pushing red that was a bad death by me um, I kind of already highlighted it at the start of the game but don't poke out gold bridge if you're weak on no bloom no sprint specifically you will die every single time i didn't even look at the time when it was happening but if i'll go ahead and hit play here sniper's up so a pro team 13 tens on the clock first snipe they're gonna be looking at the sniper uh to run out one hit was very done by me and uh you know just noted because you're gonna die every time there so make sure you're, you're, it's not a mistake you're making and i pay for it they get the snipe and i get no scope rightfully so Luckily, we we were able to minimize the damage overall. Uh, we killed their sniper. I'll highlight that play real quick out of Matt and I. I was top mid. We know three of them are blue landing. Normally, if I landed ring two on my own, I would go and run ring one. Because let's be real, three people blue landing, no bloom, no sprint. You're ring two. You're dead. No matter what, you're dead. Uh, but Matt actually was ring two already, luckily so. And when he's lifting up the landing, uh, the basically the aim assist is going to drag to him because he's becoming closest to them, where they're going to have a harder time aiming at me. So even though I'm half health, lifting normally half health, you're going to die. It's a dumb decision. But overall, because Matt was in front of me, it's a really good team play. TJ's to my right at gold. Three people with the landing. Matt's going to lift, get them weak. TJ and I are going to clean up the kills. Got a really lucky nade on that guy. Last guy alive. Just a good, just a lucky nade to keep them probably stop from pushing over goal control, so TJ can keep holding it. I'm gonna call out Matt here, Matt and myself a little bit. For as long as we've been playing Halo, this isn't something that we should mess up on. Luckily, I recognized it. Uh, if both of us push to the left here, we are 
idiots and Royal 2 is going to be complaining and I'll be complaining because Rain is going to go blue front jump, run blue 2 and get away. I recognize the guy's weak under blue. I actually saw him go over to the right so I have a little bit of advantage over Matt. But Matt cuts into my lane so I have to go to Matt's lane because obviously Rain's going to try to get away here. He probably thinks I'm pushing him. Yeah, as you can see, he was nading me thinking I was going to push him. It ended up being Matt. Sorry, Matt. Um, but yeah, always make sure you're paying attention. You know, the more you develop as a player, you'll be able to pick up lanes and realize what your teammate's doing. And sometimes you need to fill correctly. Um, it's not always going to be super pretty, but you need to make sure you're making the right plays. Right now, we just have really good goal control. You know, you, uh, anytime you can lift up blue and get free kills on guys just standing still top gold, you guys have you have really good control on the map. I get caught out here. I take free damage. I thought they were spawning red. They spawn blue. Um, sometimes spawns can just get the best of you. I did an okay job of playing my life here. Honestly, if I was really going to be super hard on myself, I would have stayed main ramp or stayed right at that pillar that you saw me initially look at. Um, I got a little greedy and tried cutting over and getting shots and I ended up dying to my left by um, a guy main ramp. Ideally, I could have stayed right there and if I got shot once, I could have fell into ring one or ran um, ring two. If you look this time, you know, it's a 10 kill lead and it doesn't make much of a difference at all, but um, 11, 14 on the clock. Snipes coming up. The last time the power weapons were coming up, I was the only person at gold and I was really weak and obviously died because I made a bad decision. Uh, this time we have myself red landing and two people blue landing. And then if I remember correctly, I'm actually going to end up getting a pretty fortunate double here as well. But yeah, just aware of the spawns. Guy lifts up, one hit. Very lucky, you know, but at the same time, that's the way it goes sometimes. You just get lucky. And it's also your teammates. Your teammates push people towards you and you're able to make fortunate plays because of it yeah just collapsing on the base you know the game's over at this point collapsed in know they're red get a clean sweep now we know they're gonna be blue reliable's not even looking at me main ramp you know there's nothing he can do game over overall i think this is a pretty clean game can't complain too much about beating a pro team 50 to 34 not every game is going to be a stake as badly as you want it to be um you know there's some good in it, there's some bad in it, that's why I chose it. We make mistakes too, trust me, we are by no means perfect, that's why we have to practice every single day. I try to practice every day. Uh, hopefully you guys can learn just like we do by watching this back and going over it. Um, make sure if you guys enjoyed the video, let me know in the comment section and leave a like. Um, I'd appreciate any tips and tricks for videos like this. Obviously it's my first time making a video, um, breaking down gameplay in a really long time, so appreciate um, any feedback. Make sure if you also enjoyed it and potentially want one of your own gameplays reviewed, you go ahead and shoot me a message on Twitter. Uh, I have a lot of submissions right now sent, so it might take me a while to get to your gameplay, but I'm really looking forward to breaking down gameplay other than my own and giving honest feedback. Um, yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great night. Watch a great day.